In this video, I'm going to show mappers how to add pre-placed mud or dirt to their maps. Uh, it won't conflict with the placeable. When you add mud and dirt from the placeable, you don't have to do this. If, in order to get mud in the map, you can just use the placeable. But if you want pre-placed mud and dirt or dirt, you don't have to do both. You can do one or the other. This is what you do. I'll show you first for people who know what they're doing with maps and then I'll go through it again for people who have never even touched a map. So, first thing you want to do is go to the data. Look for this indoor mask. You want to make a copy of it, rename it to either dirt mask or mud mask. This is case sensitive. So make sure you get it right here with the small M for mud, small d for mask, and capital M on mask. So again, it's just a f you'll start off with just a copy of the indoor mask, rename it to either dirt or mud, or both, whichever one you want. Go back to your directory where the i3d is, open that up. You want to find the first the file ID for that indoor mask, make a copy of it. dirt or mud. So add your info layer mask to the file IDs then you go down to where the info layer data is here. You can see indoor mask and then you're gonna add mud mask, dirt mask. These names don't really matter as much. They're not case sensitive. This one is. The info layer name, they have to be exactly as they are here. With that done, you can open up your map. Now here I've put down a dirt texture and the mud texture, the general in-game stuff here, just underneath, just in case the mud mod isn't included and will still be the default game texture there. It kind of gives it a nice surrounding also. So you'll be able to use go to the ter terrain info layer. You'll see the mud mask or dirt mask or both here like you have, like you've added to the file first layer mud area is typically the way the game works is you paint the entire map this mud this mud area and then you select the no mud area and you remove subtract where you want mud Okay, so that's, that'll be where the mud is. And then for dirt, as you can see, I've put dirt in two spots here. And I'm pretty sure you have to go to the scripts here, map, create ground collision, it'll save it. It'll create a collision map and it'll tell you it's ready for save that it's updated the info layers and that's it you'll be able to start the game with the mod and your map will have mud in it there is now also a custom bit of data here you can add if you want to change the heights of it in your map xml file this is optional. You can add this line here. Default is 1 and dirt info layer is I believe 0.5 would do by default. If you don't add this line it will be 0.1 and 0.5 for dirt. For mud it's limited between 1 and 0.5. For dirt it's limited to 0.1 and 1. And so the script limits you to these values. 
if you punch in zero you're gonna get point one if you punch in ten you're gonna get the max value here so again you do not have to add this at all that's if you just want to customize the height typically it's going to be more useful for people adding dirt when they if you were to sink in part of the land here you go one meter down then you'd want to add one meter set this to one meter so it's even with the, the depth that you've increased or decreased on the on the terrain here so and that should be that for people who know it know what they're doing now uh, I'm gonna redo this entire thing here so you can see it from scratch okay so okay I'll make a new map here and show you how to add pre-placed mud and dirt from a brand new map Okay, so we go to the maps. First thing we want to do is copy the info layer file. It's indoor mask. And make two copies, one for dirt, one for mud. You only have to do the one that you want. Both are not required. Okay, so we got both mud mask. These file names are case sensitive. Dirt with the small d, mud with the small m, mask with the capital M. Got that done, go back, open up the i3d in a text editor. Just search for info layer. Got to add these files to the file directory here. Make sure there's no file other files with this file number. I know in this map there's not over 3,000 files, so just throwing a three in there. Giant's editor is going to go ahead and renumber everything once we save it. So that'll do. It's not going to conflict with anything. Go down to where the info layer definitions are. make a copy of the indoor mask we'll go add to the bottom the info layer name is case sensitive make sure it points to the file we added it These names are not case sensitive. You can actually name them whatever you want. But this is what makes sense here. Okay, so in Giants Editor, we're going to open it up. So we'll go ahead and do that now. That's all you got to do in here. Okay, hold down right click, and you can move around with WASD, shift to go faster. Okay, so I'm zooming out so I can get a full view of the map. Well, your info layer. In both the mud mask and the dirt mask, 
you cannot edit the first first channel here dirt area mud area it's going to be the entire map you can't uh, you can't change it not as far as I know so it'll be totally totally white what you want to edit is the no dirt area or the no mud area we'll set this completely to cover the map here radius 10,000 depending on the map size this will cover this entire map with one click so we want to paint the entire the entire map here so as you can see it's one click and it's working depending on your computer speed this could take a few seconds okay so there you go while we're up here we'll do the mud mask too so I don't have to zoom out again no mud area cover the entire map alright now as you can see it looks like from corner to corner it'll be completely white The only th parts that are showing are parts that models and stuff that are above the terrain. As long as you got cornered and you can see it, the corners you're covered. So the entire map is now painted with both channels. What we're going to do is go ahead and unpaint the no mud, no dirt areas where we want mud or dirt to be placed. So this is the starting point for this map. So this is the same thing. I'm doing the exact same thing that I've done in the sample map. Okay, I'm just rebuilt, redoing it. So no mud area. I want to put mud right around here. So we'll make this brush. Drive radius five. I'm going to use right mouse buttons. Tracked. So this, this is where, where mud will be because the entire map is painted where we don't want mud and then we're unpainting it where we do want mud. Same thing for dirt. No dirt area. And I simply painted right here in the sample map. When you're done, you got so that's where the dirt's going to show up, and then you can see that's where the mud will show up. You go to your scripts, terrain, sorry, map, create ground collision map. It'll take a few seconds. So save it. Close, you're done, it's ready for mud. So you can add this line to your map XML. This is optional. You do not have to do this. This is if you want to modify the heights. The script, the mud system script is going to clamp these values between 0.1 and 0.5 for mud, 0.1 and 1 for dirt. So you can enter whatever you want here. It's going to limit, limit what you enter. Enter 0, you're going to get 0.1. You enter anything over the max, you're going to get the max. Default is uh, 0.5 for dirt and 0.1 for mud. So if you do not have this line, you're going to get 0.1 for mud, 0.5 for dirt. Again, you do not have to add that line. So that's all you have to do. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, if your map doesn't have the mud system mod, nothing's going to happen.
that the data and the two files just won't be used. So the mod looks for your map XML file to determine where the data directory is. If you're using custom directories, for example, you have your map XML file here. It's going to look for a data folder in here, which isn't going to work. So you'll have to edit or add the line in your map XML right here. You're going to need to add this. You don't need to add this part if you don't want. But you're going to have to set the, the directory to the data. Again, if your data folder is in the same same folder here as your map XML, you do not have to add that. You will not have to add this line. Now I'm going to go ahead and fire up the game so you can see. And don't forget to make sure that you select and enable the mod, mod system. Okay, so there we go. Instantly we have mud where we placed it. And dirt. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So you can see here in the save game directory, there's the mud system mask. This file. This file is created after the mud and or dirt have been added to the map using your info layer. It doesn't contain any data. Simply, if you modify the mask and you still have a saved game, you can delete this file. As long as the MUD system mod sees this file in the directory, it won't redo the info layers. So if you want to redo it, if you've made changes to your map, and the save game has it saved, you simply delete this file and it will redo it. It will erase everything and it will reapply it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.